the late Joseph L. White Jr., Ph.D., known fondly as one of the founding fathers of black psychology, was a mentor to MEE for more than 15 years. As we continue to honor the legacies of black thought leaders, MEE will share footage of Dr. White's down-to-earth wisdom and in-depth research with the broader MEE family. There's two reasons. One is that they think the mental health people, whoever they are, will say that they are crazy. When you go to a mental health clinic, they do an initial evaluation, and then they pull out their diagnostic book and give you a label. So that's partly true. Uh, the second thing is that historically, when you talked about going in to see a mental health counselor, you were sent there by the school principal, by your probation officer, or some authority figure made you go. The first thing I would say to them is that resistance is normal. So rather than them diagnosing the patient as having something wrong with them because they're resisting mental health, that this is normal. So expect a negative attitude. Okay. The second thing that I would say to these mental health providers is to figure out how to bring a strength-based approach into the therapy dialogue or interview as early as possible. Usually when you go to a mental health clinic in the initial interview, they want to know all of what is wrong with you. That's why you're there. Right. You know, got bad vibes with your girlfriend, uh, your, uh, you know, childhood's been raggedy, you know, you're depressed. It's bad, bad, bad. And I'm saying that early in the interview, the first interview, you need to see if you can't bring in some kind of strength-based piece. And then third, the brothers need to see the mental health providers in the community, rather than some strangers hiding behind a wall in a place called a clinic that your probation officer or somebody sends you to see, you know, that's going to analyze you. So they need to see these people, how they look, how they walk, how they talk, so they're not strangers.